Hi everyone, it's your girl Faith and uh, welcome back to the AFM Stories YouTube channel. You can see that I have a special guest with me. Like, look at this gorgeous human being. Like, can I can I get an amen for God's creation? <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, I have a special guest with me today. Um, this is Boma, our shivning program officer. You know that I've made videos about shivning on this channel, a lot of it, and we're very passionate about like helping as many people to secure the scholarship and so i realized that it would be a good thing to have like somebody on the other side so you've heard from scholars you've heard from awardees it's good to hear from a program officer so i brought Boma here she's very busy but she gave us her time oh, so please. we need to listen <laughs> we need to listen to all the insights and all the juicy stuff that she has to say okay yeah so i have a couple of questions that people tend to ask me and i just compiled them into like a book okay so the first question is what makes chivening better or different from other scholarships hmm honestly i would say that this is a very strict um i mean it's a very straightforward <laughs> question because i mean across the world not just in the uk in the us canada i mm -hmm. mean the main um master's degree mm -hmm. um destinations there are lots of scholarships. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. want to mention names. Yeah. But well, one thing here, but... I would say about yeah. Chivening, and which you can testify mm -hmm. to being a Chivening scholarship recipient, mm -hmm. is the brand, the Chivening brand itself. It's mad. I mean, anywhere you go and you say, I'm a Chivening scholar mm -hmm. or I'm a Chivening alumnus or alumna, it definitely sets you apart yeah. from everybody else. So yeah. I would say the brand is number uh -huh. one. Number two is that Chivening gives you that opportunity that goes beyond going to class, uh -huh. goes beyond just doing a one-year master's degree. Uh -huh. You get the opportunity to network. Yeah. I mean, I know you have lots of questions for me, so I don't want to yeah, go, too <laughs> much. go too much. But, but for yeah. instance, now, the Chivening network across um, the world is over 55,000. Wow. Yeah. people so i'm not saying you get the opportunity to meet with all oh, these fifty five thousand yeah. people but that gives you uh -huh. you know a very good chance of uh -huh. meeting with different people uh -huh. so if you're someone passionate about um doing community work or uh -huh. any field that you yeah. are really there is definitely an opportunity for you yeah. to meet with someone else who is doing well in that field uh -huh. so it gives you the opportunity to network to partner to uh -huh. collaborate uh -huh. and to achieve yeah and there's so many to great chivnas, guys. The one network. And this is one of them. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I like that actually. The yeah. brand, the networking, everything. It's just and it's fully funded, guys. It's of fully course. funded. No stress. Of course. I forgot to mention it's that. Fully it's fully funded. funded. Flights, yeah. travel, mm -hmm. everything. So yeah. and then I added the brand and networking to it. Like yeah. what more do you want? Really? Anyway, so the next question is how are children scholars selected? <sighs> so first of all, I would say that there isn't a typical Chivening scholar mm -hmm. because there are some misconceptions about, mm -hmm. oh, Chivening only selects this kind of people. Of course, mm -hmm. we have our eligibility criteria yeah. and the things that we look out for when mm -hmm. we want to select candidates. But I wouldn't want you to think that, oh, it's only this set of people. And the mm -hmm. reason why I'm saying that is because most of the time when you ask people mm -hmm. randomly, even mm -hmm. people that have gotten Chivening scholarship till date, mm -hmm. they'll tell you that, at the beginning, I just felt like, you know, it's for some chosen set mm. of people. And yeah. that kind of discouraged them from applying, mm. even if they were doing well in their fields. Yeah. So some people feel like, oh, no, I'm not up to standard. Mm. So I'm not saying that. I felt like that. I can't like The first and, time I saw Chivning, I was like, mm -hmm. It's not for me. Exactly. And I closed it for mm -hmm. like a year. Mm -hmm. So I relate mm -hmm. to that. So there's that tendency for you yeah. to feel like, oh, it's just for some people. So, yeah. It, yeah, we always look out for people who are very passionate about um, bringing a change mm -hmm. to Nigeria and to the world at yeah. large. And I said Nigeria because Chivening um, really looks out for people that want to create value mm -hmm. in their home country. So wherever yeah. you're listening from be it Nigeria or any um, Chivening scholarship eligible country. So we really, what we really look out for is people that can learn skills, people that yeah. can develop themselves and whatever they've learned 
in the UK, while studying in the UK, they can bring mm. back to the country and, you know, and put apply. into practice and yeah. apply, you know, those skills mm -hmm. and um, knowledge. And also to mention that in as much as we want you to learn mm -hmm. in the UK, it is very important that you also have something going on you know, mm. with you before you even mm. apply. So now just anybody can apply for Chimney. So like before you apply, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing mm. for yourself? Because it's a master's degree. So mm -hmm. we're looking for people who can demonstrate, you know, good leadership qualities, mm -hmm. people who have been able to influence their communities, work on mm. projects that's been able to impact lives yeah. positively. So, yeah. See? So okay. those are... the question. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, Faith, it would hey. also be nice to hear your... Ah, I don't know. <laughs> it would also be nice to thinking. hear your thoughts. Um... Yeah. I just think that... So one thing I would just echo is, like she said, like, you have to be doing something before you apply for achieving. Mm -hmm. So they are not saying, oh, they want people that have achieved everything. But, like, if you say you want to make a change in a particular field, what efforts have you started to make towards that? And then that's what you tell Chivlin. Then they can ask you that, okay, oh, Chivlin is the bridge between what you're doing exactly. and the next level of that thing. So that's yeah. what I was saying. And one more thing to mention. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about doing something in country, mm -hmm. but also to think about the fact that the Chivlin Scholarship is a very competitive mm -hmm. scholarship um, <laughs> program. So... Yeah. As you are applying, you need to think about it that if these people are going to invest in me, mm. I mean, last year, um, the, the school fees for this year, the tuition <laughs> for this year, uh, is definitely higher. Mm. I'm not too sure of the numbers, but yeah. last year, I remember that um, per student, it was £36,000. So as you want to apply or as you are mm -hmm. applying, it's mm. very important to put into perspective that Am I the work I'm doing? Is it worth being mm. investing thirty six thousand <laughs> pounds in it? Like, for instance, in Nigeria, please, how much is one pound? Ha! <laughs> like two thousand three hundred or something. Exactly. I mean, if hey. we're being conservative yeah, and we're like, okay, two thousand. So two thousand by thirty six thousand pounds. That's how much. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do the math. Exactly. But like, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, do the mm. math yourself and also try to reflect that. With the quality of work I'm mm. doing now, Is do I really do think want? that, mm. you know, yeah. That's so. actually a lovely way to think about it. I never thought about it in that light. And that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. So that means in, in your essays, in your interview, you have to communicate something that is... It's valuable. Very, like, va and very And beyond important. yourself as well. That's yeah. another thing. Yeah. Okay, but I think you've already said this, Sha, but I'll still ask you. Okay. What is something that you've noticed that a lot of shaving scholars have in common? Um, so I'll say the leadership qualities. Mm. Like I've noticed that um, shaveners are leaders. They are people mm. who take initiative. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, aside leadership, a common quality, another common mm. quality is shaveners are usually impact-driven. Mm. very impact yeah. driven and i'll give an example okay. so um i think it was last two weeks that um, you know the, the british council held okay. the, the uk day. alumni <laughs> awards and i mean there were four categories yeah. and out of the four categories three people yeah. were chiefness i mean yeah. that tells That's you you know that tells you a lot that yeah. you know chiefness are people yeah. that you know they impact they are go getters yeah. exactly yeah i achievers yeah, but i don't want to use i achievers cuz we've got discouraged some people but there are people that get things done exactly yeah. and after achieving like i feel like they have a clear plan like a lot, a lot of times they do exploits. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we're still, we yeah. might still run through the essay, you mm -hmm. know, the, the essay, essay bits. Bit, but yeah. but I'd say, um, leadership, yeah. um, high driven. So no, I said, in, okay. yeah, high impact achievers. Driven. Then I said impact driven. Okay. And there are many more, but I mean, those three <laughs> things are very major. So the next thing is, how can people stand out in the applications? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. So I feel like this is a very, um, mm. very tricky question. Yeah. And um, 
There are lots of people who have tried, yeah. you know, tried, and I'm sure that it's possible that you're listening to us now, and over the years, you've applied severally, mm -hmm. and you've tried to stand out, yeah. but it's not, it's not, it's not standing. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not standing. <laughs> But, but yeah. I, what I would say first is, I mean, for every, for generally, I mean, to stand out, um, what I would say is that, is it where you're, to clarify first okay, of all, at the stage. interview, okay, no, application, application stage. stage yeah. Oh, at the application stage, to stand out, I think telling your story well, and I think mm. this also applies to the interview as well, mm. being a good storyteller, very, mm. very important, because um, in Nigeria, so um, last two years, I know that we mm. had over 14,000 applications. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> in Nigeria. No, stop. Wait. Yes. 14,000 in one Ye year. Yes. And globally, it was 60,000. How many people were selected? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Like, yeah, wait, two 14? years ago, 14,000 applications in Nigeria oh, specifically and globally. It was sixty thousand over sixty thousand, wow. and Chivnin is available in over one hundred and sixty countries. <laughs> so you are wondering. So if Nigeria ah. is taking like a bulk of you know the applications, then it's more competitive. Yeah, even in Nigeria. So, so, do you understand? Ah. So just in Nigeria, so to stand out, I'm not saying it is hard, but I just want yeah. to you know just let you know that it's not a reflection of. Hmm. If you get you reject, rejected, yeah. it's a reflection of the quality of your work yeah. or the quality of um, whatever you do, a quality mm -hmm. of, uh, sorry, a reflection of who you are. So, first of all, having that number in mind yeah. helps you to, you know, <laughs> sit down, first of all, to think exactly, putting things into perspective. <laughs> then, I mean, to stand out, I'll just say that... Um, you know, there are different fields, right? So mm. in your own field, I would say try to... It's not good to compare yourself to yeah. others, right? But, I mean, try to see what others are doing mm. in your field and also try to think about how you can do things differently. Yeah. How can you stand out? Okay, if Faith is in the development field, even though she's more of a creative... creative <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. if Faith is in the development field and I am in the development field, hmm. so what am I doing different? different yes, yeah. so how hmm. can I set myself, yeah. you know, apart from every other person, including Faith? So I think those are yeah. the types what of was things. Your own secret sauce. Exactly. Your own secret spin. Yeah. Everybody's saying they want to solve poverty, poverty, poverty. How, what is your own difference? Exactly. I'm not saying don't solve poverty, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying like, What's your own spin to it? Like, that's up to you to like, Yeah, and just to give an example, um, I think it was just a few days ago that I was mm -hmm. telling you that if you're someone in the development field mm -hmm. and, you know, so many people are doing the same thing as mm -hmm. you are doing, so, for instance, you, what is that additional skill that mm -hmm. you have? Mm -hmm. So, is it that even though you're in the development field, even though you're not really a tech savvy or a media mm -hmm. person, how are you telling your story? Well, um, maybe on social media mm. how have you been able to build your followership mm. maybe on your instagram yeah. or your twitter page you mm -hmm. know those types of things how are you making use of influencers and i know mm. that sometimes when you make use of influencers it might cost a lot of yeah. money but like the people in your circle how are you, how are you making you yeah. exactly leveraging them so you know it might sound a little but so th these are some yeah. things that might set you aside um, mm -hmm. apart um when putting together your application and yeah, so my next question is, what are common mistakes that applicants make that get them rejected that you've noticed? Rejected. Okay, so um, at the point of application, application stage, yeah. ap um, application stage, I would say, um, I, I said this before, you yeah. know, not telling your story well. And sometimes I feel like some people do not even do enough research. Yes. Some people do not do enough research, and sometimes you now begin yeah. to wonder that, like, you've already taken out time mm -hmm. to apply for Chivni, like. but when you start reading the application, it's like some people don't really even yeah. know so much about Chivni, yeah. right? Then another thing is, which uh, another and thing it, is sorry, the fact that not to cut you, the Chivni mm -hmm. website, Chivni.org, has everything that you need to know. Like, you don't even need to go far. Fact, fact, so, fact. It's yeah. just cut Yeah. So um, some people don't research enough so yeah. chivney websites and another another mm. tip 
Mm -hmm. for that one is when you go to the achievement website yes read everything that Mm -hmm. you can as much as you can but the faq Mm. um, section Mm. sitting down digesting everything one by one Mm. will help you a lot so some of the questions that i might even be asking in these comments just go to the faqs Mm. you have lots of answers you know to some of the questions that you've been pondering yeah Yeah. my website is detailed very so um you know i feel so when we go through applications sometimes it feels like you don't even know so much about About achieving about what you're doing you've not researched enough and sometimes again we realize that some people do not structure their answers properly Hmm. so it's all over the place so as i said before we get lots of applications every year yeah. so Im- the people that are reviewing your applications they are people yeah, like they are human beings, beings. So. exactly mm-hmm. so when your applications are all over the place in as it's much as you've achieved a lot in as much yeah. as you've impacted so many lives or you're doing so many things that mm-hmm. are noteworthy but if, if you're not able to um, what's it called because structure yeah. yeah structure your answers very well mm-hmm. the person st- reading your application can get bored and tired and right? confused yeah so that is why we always tell you to use star approach i've said that over and over <laughs> again and like, i'm tired of saying it no, but we'll keep saying it. <laughs> let's keep see that's the game changer let me not lie yeah, yeah. so star approach yeah. just do your research so star approach mm-hmm. s is um situation T task. is task a is action. action then r, r is, is results yeah. and sometimes some people even include lessons learned yeah reflection. yeah so yeah so i mean it's not compulsory but just following that structure helps yeah. your story to be mm-hmm. you know more um more um more organized, got, more organized. Yeah. and I, mean, I have mean, many videos on Star Approach on this channel. Yeah. So go and watch it. Yeah. And it's 500 words, right? Yes, yeah, 500 words. And sometimes some <laughs> people might be like, ah, 500 words, ah, that's a lot. But by the time we start writing, it's not a lot. So if you it's use Star Approach, yeah. situation, yeah. task, action, mm-hmm. results, mm-hmm. and you now do that for three examples, ah, no, it's not a lot. It's not. Then third, and we've mentioned what was the first thing we mentioned? Can yeah, research. Tell your no, story. No, no. So you said tell your story well. Yeah. Then you said research. Research. Then start, research. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then something else is plagiarism. Hey, people they plagiarize? Very My well. Oh gosh. Very Guys. Well, very well. Especially now that there is, you know, there are lots of tools hmm. that you can AI. use that will just say um give me an example of a leadership um, and leadership people are doing of that of course they are we'll catch you guys <laughs> guys you want to collect thirty six thousand pounds i know what will be creative are using ai so please let's not do it no you are future achievers. i'm exactly. proud of you i believe in you yeah prove it with 500 words so um so plagiarism is yeah. something else that people do i mean once you do that oh, at the point of application <laughs> it's like you're doing yourself a uh-uh. disservice so that's even out of it mm-hmm. and um, some people lie as well mm. and i think this is kind of connected to plagiarism so some people might be like but i didn't plagiarize but if you're lying about numbers lying mm. about what you're not or what you you're saying defend. that you've trained a number of people and it's not realistic it's not realistic you know that's terrible and yeah. i would say that something that gives me joy when we pick chivnas mm-hmm. and when they come back mm-hmm. is when they say things like oh i've started achieving everything in my mm. career goals or everything yeah. that i put down in my the career, career goals, plans, yeah, yeah at the point of applying so i'd say that honestly even if you're not chosen for achievement mm. i believe that yeah applying spending time to apply and being candid to yourself yeah. actually helps you to have a more structured um plan for yeah. yourself yeah. so even though achieving doesn't work at the end of the day but because you've already spent time mm-hmm. thinking about your career plan mm-hmm. you're already spending time you know thinking about how you're going to achieve mm-hmm. something yeah. even if achieving doesn't come through you already you have st- a plan. You already I have a plan. Like, even filling the application, like mm-hmm. I feel like it was life changing for me. Funny exactly. enough, like it makes you think about things that you would not typically think about. Like I think I have goals and plans, but usually like one year goal, two year goal. Mm-hmm. Then now with chivning, your career goals have to like lead to each other. They have to make sense. So mm-hmm. I had to research. I had to like break down. Like it really putting in the effort to apply for chivning 
opens you up to a lot, honestly. Yeah. So yeah. I'll say that yeah, don't lie. It's not even worth it. Like, what's the point? Then you now continue lying when you get the scholarship. You lie after, like. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Let me see. And so the next question is like, how can someone that was rejected like come back stronger? Okay. So um, for that, I mean, it's very sad to get rejections. I don't like rejections, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you don't, don't as like well. Rejections. Nobody, Nobody does. does. Yeah. But if you're someone consistent in your work, and you know you you've gotten good feedback about the good quality of what you're mm -hmm. doing, so something to do is try to reflect. Mm -hmm. The next application window will be open by August September, which yeah. is about six, six to months, seven yeah. months from now. So reflect. Try to identify other people who have got in evening mm -hmm. before and probably show them your applications that mm. what can I do better and not just any type of person please <laughs> mm. but people that you know they are trailblazers in their field yeah. people who are doing very well so meet with them and most importantly also sit down and think about it that in the next year or in the few, next few months what can I do yeah. you know to be more more competitive. Um, more competitive. Exactly. What can I do better? Exactly. I love that word. Like we strategize. I love that word. We strategize. And um, in your in your application, in as much as you're going to meet with Chivnin alumni, mm -hmm. you know, to to help you review your application, mm -hmm. start approach. Very, very, very important. Key. Then something else I was going to say is mm -hmm. um, ensure that your answers are smart. Although mm. we might take we might do. Um, no, you can talk about I can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Ensure that your answers are smart. So mm -hmm. that it's one thing to have a structured answer. Mm. It's another thing to know to be sure that your answers are smart. And smart um, S stands for um, specific. Specific. M, M stands measurable. for measurable. A M stands is for achievable. achievable. R, R is realistic. realistic. Yeah. T, T is time, time bound. Or time bound yeah. yeah. So in terms of being specific, like don't ramble and mm. be all over the place and if you say that you want to achieve something it's important to be specific because yeah. the people that are reading your application are not mm. in your head they're not so, so you know it, especially and this is specifically for you know the first part of application yeah. Is the 500 words you write that you <laughs> that consider? Yeah. Though. So if you are not specific, nobody yeah. will come and ask you to or say that back. exactly. <laughs> or explain this more. Or what do you mean by this? Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Then for being measurable, numbers, making yeah. good use of numbers. Mm -hmm. So you want or you've achieved, you've impacted yeah. so many people's lives. What, so many doesn't work what is the number yeah. and don't now lie and say that <laughs> i've impacted 500 people's lives when it's just maybe yeah. about 20 people that it's you've trained or done something but that's with respect to being measurable yeah. then achievable hmm. <laughs> What you are putting together, and I think yeah. this goes more with um, your career plan. Yeah. Is it achievable mm -hmm. with respect to your um, your, your field, your, field um, your years of experience, mm. and with respect to what you are even going to learn in the UK? Mm. Is it the career goals? Are they really achievable? Sure. Right. Sure, is it sure. possible? Then um, R is realistic. realistic. I think this it's, is also, yeah, um, you know, um, um, close to being achievable. Is mm -hmm. it realistic? Some people put in their applications that when I come back, I want to become the minister. <laughs> in what? In which part of it? Is it in the short term? I mean, the long term. <laughs> I don't even know, but please, yeah. let's be realistic. I'm yeah. not saying you it's cannot you become, put, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying you can't become a minister, but be realistic in everything you're putting together. And finally, you know, time, time line, bound, yeah. bound, very important. Give us time. So uh, if you say that at a particular time, you were working on a particular project, at what particular time? Mm. It gives, you know, the, yeah. putting the time actually helps whoever is reading your application to follow it exactly yeah. so i remember that um i think it was last year or last two years i saw many people which is a very good example mm -hmm. anyway i saw many people referencing the covid you know during mm. the covid time so for instance if you're a health, health professional mm -hmm. and you're able to say that you know during, during covid, COVID yeah, to be specific in, in 
mm-hmm. March, March 2020. 2020. Do you that, understand? Yeah. August yeah. 2020, you yeah. know, you worked with a team of people mm-hmm. to you, to help, um, mm-hmm. vi- um, what's it called, victims of yeah. so-so oh. and so, whatever mm-hmm. it is. You know, you saying COVID time, you saying so, March 2020. Yeah, it's very it's already, the person reading your essay is already painting a picture in his head or mm-hmm. ahead and thinking that oh it means that you know in march 2020 this person was doing this and it totally mm-hmm. it's like a game changer for you would really help you so anyway in your application make ensure that yeah. you have yeah, smart that. smart answers and i also want to chip in because i got rejected in my first try and i got it my second try and the thing is a lot of things that is actually what made the difference mm. so in my first application i was rambling i can't mm. lie to you mm. like my career plan very flowery i was like i want to change my industry i want to create an award now like i could not i was not i did not think it through so mm. the goals were not like very specific mm. they, they were not clearly thought mm. i just was just i just want to change my career and change my industry so that's one so my next try, I was very specific. Like, yeah. I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. Mm. And also, like, dates, yeah. numbers, all the things. And also, I put in the work. I did not, like, say because Chivney rejected me, I will not do my work again. Because yeah. I was not doing the work because of Chivney exactly. in the first place. So, mm-hmm. I dedicated time to, like, you know, doing the work. And, yeah, I had more things to say in my second application. So, go and try harder. Be more competitive. Strategize. And come back stronger. I know yeah. you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> yeah. And in addition to that, you know, Faith, you said something about um, highlighting what you want to do. And I think that another important thing mm-hmm. that you should include in your application, I mean, I know it's only 500 words, but the how, hmm. very important, the how. So this is your career goal. Who, who, who are you going to work with or what hmm. are you going to do to achieve whatever you said so the what and the how very very important i didn't even know that that's yeah. interesting yeah so um yeah. as you're putting together your application something else you can you know you can consider we've mentioned star approach we yeah. mentioned smart goals something else is the um when the what mm. the how yeah very important and sometimes the who the because who too. very important as yeah. well the who i mean i don't know if there are other questions that there are out there. What? so what but let, me, let me just stop, Let's the who stop yeah so those w's yeah. and um one h very important yeah so someone says that is there a way for me to guarantee that i'm choosing for chimney huh. <laughs> at the interview stage right you know the stage is like for the application stage. How do I guarantee? I don't honestly, guarantee. there is no <laughs> way to guarantee. Honestly, I'll just say you know keep putting in the good work and in your application, do your best, right? Yeah. Because we are looking for the best of the best. We are looking for people that are worth being invested in. We are mm. looking for people who can stand as. UK and Nigeria ambassadors, mm-hmm. even after the completion of their master's degree. Yeah. yeah, so there's no way. Just put in the best and um, yeah. we wish you all the best. And someone <laughs> says, does the reference letter play a major role? Yes, it does. Mm. It does. And in situations, there are situations where we found out that some people write fake reference letters. Please don't do that. You guys verify the... Yes, we do. Wow. We do. <laughs> don't write fake reference letters. We do. We wow. Do. So please don't write yeah. fake reference letters. And also ensure that, you know, whoever is um, your reference um, or your reference is a very mm-hmm. strong person. It's someone that mm. if we randomly reach out to, the person can testify to the quality of your work. Not someone that you've not even worked with in a <laughs> long time. That person is wondering, oh, yeah, um, we worked together. Ah, she was my student many years ago, but oh do you know about <laughs> this? And the person is just blank. Please wow. try to identify people, you know, that, people mm. that are, you know, people that can speak well of your good work, people that can test if I have wow. your good work. Very, That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, someone says that um, can a recent graduate apply? Yeah, a recent graduate can apply as far as you have the two, two years, years working yeah. experience. I know that in the past we've had people that um, immediately after NYC they applied for 
achievement yeah. and they got and it. They got it. Yeah, but that's because while they were in school, yeah. they had already put in the, the, the work. work. Yeah. yeah. So outside school activities, they were working. Yeah. You know, they were volunteering. Oh. They did internships. Mm -hmm. You know. So I yeah, it's like possible. That. Because somebody asked about, uh, hey, I'm an entrepreneur, can I use my business as work experience? Maybe of you can course. talk about the work experience. Oh, yeah, of course. Yes, as a business person, even like it's, uh, that's yeah. one thing again that I need to clarify. So some people believe that Chivning is just, some people believe that Chivning is just for um, people that are founders. So I'm actually mm. surprised that this mm. question is coming somebody, up. Somebody because, asked though. Because yeah. some, pe most, some wow. people just feel like uh, I, I'm a founder. I have more chances than mm. someone that is doing a 9 to 5. I'm telling you, some people believe that if I'm not a CEO, I can't get difficult. it. Yeah. yeah. So um, if, you're, if you're an entrepreneur, it's yeah, fine. fine. It's just about telling your stories well and also about really doing the impact. So in your business, are you sure that what you are doing meets the quality yeah. of the types of candidates that we're looking for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as a nine to five as well, I mean, it's the quality of your work. Does is it commensurate with what we're looking mm -hmm. for in a candidate? So yes. Yeah, I think that you can. As a business person, you can apply because I think I used my business as my work experience, which is what I was mostly doing mm -hmm. in that time. And I have friends that were in 9 to 5 and also used their 9 to 5. And I have people that were volunteers and they used their exactly. volunteering experience. So it's work. Work it's is work. Work is work, exactly. <laughs> but I don't know if... Okay, let me not say no, 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 no. I don't know. Is there any work that isn't eligible, though? I, I'm, I'm also sure. wondering. No. I don't know if there's any work that isn't <laughs> eligible, Sha. But anyways... So, uh -huh, this question, this is like my closing question, this is mm. just so for this part of the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this question has come up. Oh. Mm. Why does Chivney require people to return home? <laughs> there are different variations of it, but okay. it, people are just always confused. Like, why? why? Like, why is it like a restriction? A restriction. What's, why can't... So there are people ask like, can I can I do a PhD after? Mm. Can I go to another country immediately mm. after? Mm. Why does what if I want to relocate with after Chivning? Why does Chivning want us to come back to our country? So, thank you for that question. No, and you know I'm happy that this person asked this question, and I'm so happy to also provide insight. Um, so you need to understand that the Chivning um, scholarship is first of all funded by the UK government. Mm -hmm. And um, this is something the UK government is doing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I would say Chivnin isn't a charity organization, <laughs> first of all. Apt. Yeah. Right? So yeah. one of the one of the one of the objectives of yeah. doing or having Chivnin in country is to build the relationship yeah. between the UK and mm -hmm. Nigeria. Right, that yes. is something, yes. That is, so, and even when you are writing your application, you please, you need that, to yeah. be you, you need to understand that you, you as a Nigerian, as you're studying in the UK, you're building or helping to be good ambassadors for both uh -huh. Nigeria and, and the, the UK. UK. So, you know, putting that into perspective, so if you decide to, if you're chosen for achieving and you decide to leave. <laughs> There is no, you're not coming mm. back to Nigeria to do anything. Do you so understand? What was the point of so the there investment? is no point. So building UK Nigeria relationship. Second is coming back home. Another objective, yeah. coming back home to make impact. So and I think we said this at the yeah. beginning of of this the conversation interview. that you're supposed to go to the UK, develop your skills, mm -hmm. grow yourself, and come back to Nigeria. To put into practice everything that you've learned. Mm -hmm. So I mean, those are the objectives of the Chivning Scholarship in Nigeria. So if you decide to go, <laughs> those objectives are already de um, defeated, right? Precisely. So it's important that you you know come back. And as we said before, Chivners are very impact driven. So yeah. if you have that impact, it's not for you to take it to another country exactly. or take it back to the UK. But bring it to Where your it's most country. Needed. Exactly. I mean, considering the way Nigeria is these days, <laughs> we need <laughs> we need people who are passionate about you know the development mm -hmm. of the country. Yeah. So which is why and in all fields, so not just in the development field as oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Creativity. Somebody even asked, 
about um, can I study non-development courses? So somebody said, can I study sports? Oh, yeah, of course you can. And, you know, thankfully, um, on Tuesday, we had the welcome home for mm -hmm. newly returned um, Chivening Scholars. And one of them actually studied um, football. Wow. I think football coaching, yes. That is so, see, like, <laughs> that is so cool. It's not football coaching. Football now coaching. That's so, see, yeah. like, you can study anything with Chivening. Anything. It's about, like, studying something, like she said, that enables you to make a change in your home country. So mm. what aspects of your country needs fixing and how are you that person to mm -hmm. fix it so for instance this football person now i, I so mean recently we've all been all about afghan yeah. you know saying that ah you know we're thankful for the coach that we have mm -hmm. even though the coach is in nigerian he's not he's not wow. nigerian i think he's from portugal also wow so i mean imagine that we had I'm not saying we don't have, but I'm just saying that yeah. if there were more people in that field, I'm not yeah. sure would we'll recruit um, what's yeah, it called foreign, so, people. forereign people. So this is also a part of See a gap that somebody found. Exactly. Anything. So I mean, in years to come, you don't know the type of position she would eventually. And it feel. was a female. A female, exactly. Wow. exactly. I was know that person. I need to find. <laughs> don't it. worry, I'll let you link know. me up because that's so interesting. Because yeah. somebody asked, can I study a sports course? Like, you can, you can, and I mean, um, faith is another good example. Uh -huh. I said a creative course. So. A creative course, and she also got the UK Alumni Award. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes yeah. to show that yes, in as much as there are many achievements that are in the development field there are also people across other different fields exactly fields. Yeah. my final question is does shivening support scholars in those two years that they return um so we try to we try to support scholars uh, and i'll give examples so first of all when achievements come back to nigeria we hold the welcome home reception you know just to yeah. celebrate you Coming it's back to fun, Nigeria. No? I yeah. enjoyed mine. I ate good food. Met <laughs> a lot of people. Got a lot of business cards. But yeah. 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 And talking about meeting a lot of people, we also invite other chiefness, that is chiefness yeah. alumni, to these types of events, um, to this type of reception. And at that point, you are then integrated to the chiefness mm -hmm. alumni, alumni Association, Association of Nigeria. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So, I mean, the Chivening Alumni Network of Nigeria, we have over 1,500 people. Wow, already? Already, already. Wow. And it's growing year by year. And in this association as well, there are lots of people yeah. across different fields. So you get the opportunity yeah. to easily reach out to someone. Yeah. Or maybe I shouldn't say the word easily because you have to do the work, actually. Yeah. Yes, you have True. to make efforts to reach out to people because yeah. these are busy, 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 busy people. people. Yeah, so you have the opportunity to reach out to these people. And in the past, to be honest, I know I've heard lots of testimonials about mm -hmm. someone getting a job even True after the... Yeah, through connecting. And aside that, myself and, you know, the other program officer in Lagos, Lyo... <laughs> <laughs> oh geez, on this channel, I watch the video with Lyle. Yeah, okay, I'm not watch, watch it after this one. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to Lyle. So, yeah. um, so myself and Lyle, in the past, we've um, organized master oh, classes. Yeah. I think so, I attended one also. Yeah, one so um, last year we had a master class for chiefness that just returned. Yeah. So we had an expert who was able to train them on how to apply for jobs. And honestly, yes, we did this master class in support of achievements. But something that you need to understand is you must be able to help yourself. Mm. We would support, but it's not as if we have one job <laughs> in the corner. We'll say yeah, that, oh, now that you're, you're back, take it. You so you need also to share do... opportunities a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Share yeah. so um, jobs within the mission we share. But very importantly, you need to do your own work. Yeah. So master class, and I think in 2022, we actually had a career fair as well in partnership with the mm. um, University of Nottingham. So they had lots of different organizations across different fields mm. that were recruiting. Yeah, we did this in 2022 in partnership with that organization. So we try to, you know, support, but getting a job is something that you need to do yourself, your setting up though. a business. Because mm -hmm. not everybody wants to apply for jobs, right? You want, some people yeah, yeah. want to set Inve up businesses. Sorry, themselves. invest the knowledge yeah. in your business, yeah. in your foundation or anything that you're doing. Mm -hmm. you get, and you got like a world-class degree 
in the UK, you learnt a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, that's already a lot of investment. So leverage it, use it to your advantage, and take advantage of all of these things that she has mentioned, and you'll be fine. So that's, well, come to the end of our video. Yes, thank you so much, Goma, for all of these insights thank and you. tips and advice. I already knew it was going to be information packed, so I'm sure there's a lot you learned from it. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. And we also have other videos with Boma. One on the essays and oh. one on the... Sh <laughs> one on the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually... I'm, what's the one now? Oh, I just, what's the English? I don't want to use the English. But I have captured her for those videos. So <laughs> let's beg her. <laughs> what's it but anyways, okay, yeah. Sure. We'll have tips and tricks on both the essays and interviews. But she already even shared a lot on at least the essays. So... Yeah, look out for the interview videos and maybe the essay videos if she has our time. But we'll try. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>